Welcome to Polka Dot Shot June 2020. Waiting for you with great new developments. After Polka Dot's initial launch last month, it has now successfully transitioned to the nominated proof of stake phase within just a few weeks. During this phase, Web3 Foundation will take a step towards decentralizing the network by increasing the active validator set from 20 to 100 active community validator nodes. Developers can now continue to build cool things like wallets or dashboards, validators can begin securing the relay chain and validating proofs, while nominators can now participate in the staking environment by nominating validators with their dots. Learn more about the launch and the project by reading the summary of the AMA Telegram session. Besides Polka Pulse and Polka Stats, cool new statistics sites like this Kusama Pulse have been developed in the meantime as well. This is an experimental visualization of different Kusama time periods. The outer glow size depends on the number of events included in the last block. Kusama also has a treasury fund. Read this new blog post if you want to learn what is a treasury and its role in the economic design, what is the difference between tipping and spending, and what projects have already been funded by the treasury. Moreover, this month Jutta Steiner talks at A16Z Crypto Startup School about what can go wrong with code, how to mitigate it and how to translate this into smart contracts. She also talks about better scaling opportunities by pool security and strong interoperability and how Polkadot comes into play here. Like you'll need various layers to various layers of of um, of tools that all have their own weaknesses, their own holes, but as a whole um, hopefully we can cover um, everything and, and create systems that are really difficult to penetrate. So um, that customizable runtime model, um, I think, is, is a very powerful one um, because it very much so mitigates um, the, uh, um, the attack surface on the uh, virtual machine level. And like the DAO hack, um, we've seen the multi-sig hack on our side um, for 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 parity a few years ago. Um, many of those really, really big attacks that have happened or issues um, on Ethereum in particular, I would argue have been related to um, the virtual machine being way too complex and, and way too powerful um, as a tool in some ways. Um, way too powerful in some ways, uh, therefore way too exposed um, and therefore actually way too weak. Um, so that's, I think, a big opportunity for making things a lot more secure. You can also watch another interview with Jutta on Crowdcast. There you will learn about her motivation being part of the Web3 movement, what projects Parity is currently working on, and how she sees the ecosystem evolving in the near future. Future, present and past of Polkadot is also her topic of the keynote speech at Web3 Cogix stage. So check this one out as well. You should also review the Polkadot Decentralized Finance Community Virtual Meetup hosted by Akala Network and moderated by Betty, the co-founder. What will DeFi look like on Polkadot? Find it out in these excellent deep dive interviews on Crowdcast. DeFi is one of the areas that got funding from the Web3 Foundation, but many other projects received funds as well. Web3 Foundation was ranked on second place for top weekly funders on Gitcoin end of June. And here is an overview of all projects being funded. Hopefully many more projects will follow with the recent launch of Hekusama Hackathon. You can still find teammates and work on an exciting project. By now almost 300 people have already registered and we are waiting for you to join as well. The first Hekusama webinar on Crowdcast explains where to find the participation guide, rules and prices. So wait no longer and register today. To get even more motivated, you can listen to Gavin Wood's talk on July 6th about Polkadot's governance and check out the current job openings of Web3 Foundation and Parity Technology. So as you see, there are many job openings currently. There is the Hakusama Hackathon and there is the Ambassador Program that helps you to join the like-minded community. It helps you to get access to special content and the people to get funding if you're a developer or also quite a lot of free stuff just like the shirt for example that i got from joining a crowdcast interview so this is also nice um, to also feel a bit more like being part of the community so we're really looking forward to meet you very soon via the diverse channels and if you have any questions reach out to us 
in the different Telegram channels on Riot um, or on the podcast events and webinars that we host on a regular basis.